Hey everyone, I am Brent Schmidt with Cleveland Music Group and it's time to save some money because I think this is a great product that is in the near future for you to have in your lighting inventory. It is from Chauvet DJ. It is called the Motion Orb. If you have not yet seen any videos or pictures of this product right now, well, you might have been living under a rock for a long time because this came out from Chauvet DJ back in September. I remember seeing it at LDI from their Facebook post. When I saw it, they really didn't like say anything about the product. I just saw it hanging from, from their truss structure. It is the Motion Orb, 55 orbs on a two meter bar. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is something that it's kind of just a little specialty uh, to have in your lighting inventory. So I hope you enjoy this product preview. So the first thing I want to talk about is the bag that comes with it. This is perfect for all of our mobile DJs, mobile entertainers, production companies that just you know need to protect it from going gig to gig. After you open up your bag, you have your Velcro straps to strap everything down to make sure nothing moves in transporting. Each side, you have two sides basically. And on the bottom, you have some nice feet to keep it off the ground, dirt, whatever the case may be. And also has a nice little sleeve to put your bar into so it doesn't get scraped up or damaged in transporting. So here's the bar, here's the front of it, this is what uh, your display and also your mic for any sound active modes that you might use. And then you can see where the motion orbs connect. Now we're going to disconnect this one right here to just show you here. It's basically a plug and screw in. You'll see that it is a four, a four input with a little, let's see here, a little groove for you to put in. So once you pop it in, I'm just gonna pop it in, screw it in nice and tight. Sure it doesn't come loose because if you're hanging it vertically from truss or the ceiling uh, they may come loose and then they won't connect and they won't work so that is definitely an issue and if it's especially the first one in the chain just like any DMX it will not uh, respond to the rest of the four other strands on this bar now you have your M10 mounting hole and your M12 right next to it. And then right in the center here is your M10 again. M12 and then M10. So if you're using any theatrical um, heavy duty clamps, your M12 mounting hole will be perfect. If not, any O clamps or trigger clamps will do fine here with the M10. Uh, just keep in mind that you have three on this bar for M10. One, two, and then three down there at the end. Or you can just use two, or you can use all three. It is up to you. But that is the fixture. As you see behind us, we had our display here going through here. You can see this is nine feet. This truss right here is nine feet long. As you can tell, uh, we have a little bit of a gap from the floor. It's a good maybe foot and a half left from the ground. So if you're using eight feet of trussing, um, you know you'll probably just touch the end of the ground there. If you use six foot, uh, like I did a couple weeks ago, um, you'll see that uh, you're gonna have some access and you're gonna be laying it on the ground, which is not bad, but the 6.56 feet of trussing, uh, you're not going to have too much. You have some access sitting on the ground. As you can see, I, was, I am using O clamps here for my mounting, which go into the M10 mounting holes. <clears throat> now 
I move back to the back of the fixtures to see. You can see our power in. And then we also have our power out and then power in to our next controller, to our next bar. Really cool feature. One of the great features that I love from Chauvet, D Chauvet DJ is that the easy Powerlink Edison plugs that they have on all of their fixtures, not just their decor, moving heads, powers, all of their fixtures. Love that feature, love, love, love it, love it. No, there are special cables that I have to buy or purchase or have on hand. This is something really cool. So we saw some of the chases that they do. We saw the features of it. We saw the basic layout of how the motion orb works. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Brent, what the heck am I going to do with this in my lighting inventory? Well, if you're a club DJ and you are nightly at a nice club and the bar and the owner of the club is like, dude, I need something new from you. Well, this is something you can offer. I mean, hey, you can make a lounge out of these lights with also trussing as well. You can have a four, all th four sides or three sides and also a ceiling. Those are some options you can consider if you are a club style DJ that, is pl that are playing at uh, nightclubs. If you're a wedding DJ, what are you gonna use these for? Well, hey, you can enhance your DJ booth at a wedding simply by placing them behind you. Now you're probably thinking, oh Brent, you know, um, what about uh, you know, taking the attention off the bride and groom? That is true, but you don't have to do the chase modes and all the sound active modes. You can have a simple red or blue or whatever color that the bride and groom have that goes with their table, uh, table and wedding color schemes. Or you can enhance the dance floor if you're doing a big setup for their dance floor with trussing on all four sides of the dance floor and going across above, you can place these overhead and create a nice dance floor atmosphere. Something that I would want at my wedding. So that is something to consider as well. The DMX addresses the channels that it has are nine, 165, 240, and 315. It also has a three pin DMX uh, connector. It is 110 LEDs, 50,000 hours of life expectancy. You can have 16, you can plug in 16 of these motion orbs all together. Power link these as well, up to 16 of the motion orbs together. So you don't have to worry about power, running power back and forth, back and forth. No, you just <laughs> dinksy, dinksy chain them all together and you're all set. Now, the thing, Ocean Orb only weighs 8.2 pounds. 
not a lot of weight, so it saves you <laughs> from killing your back. Now, I talked about earlier about you can get the extension uh, motion or strands from Chauvet DJ or any Chauvet DJ dealer. Now, that will extend your runs from two meters, you can go to three meters, or you can go to four meters. Four meters long, which is a nice length if you're doing um, the span of a dance floor or you're just hanging um, from a far um, high enough ceiling that you cannot get to. Some other options that you'll see um, from my setups, uh, sometimes I don't hang them from trussing or hanging from bars. I sometimes place the bar of the motion orb on the ground and use the little hooks at the end of the strands and tie them together or use safety cables to put them up to wherever the desired length I want them to. Now one thing you can also do, you can cut the two meter length and make it one meter long. So if you are doing a really, really small distance from the bar to the end or whatever, the wall or ceiling, you can do that as well. It's a one meter uh, length instead of the two meters. Again, if you guys have any questions at all about the motion orb, from setup to using it in spaces, or just kind of coming up with ideas and designs of how to uh, use them and manipulate the use that you can and maximize your profits, please feel free to email me or comment below. I will get to answer all of your comments as fast as I can. Again, I am Brent Schmidt with Chauvet DJ and Cleveland Music Group. I hope you enjoyed my product preview of the Motion Orb from Chauvet DJ. Everyone have fun, take care, and we'll see you next time.